lecture on French verbs. In this ver in this lecture, I will be teaching you the French verb avoir, which means to have. Now we we'll write it down. The verb to have. In the last lecture, we had learned the verb to be, which was the verb être. Now the translation will be le verb avoua. So basically, a v o i r is pronounced as avoua. Uh, I'll write it down in the bracket for your understanding. Now the first one which we have is j. Remember, we say j for i. So this is basically I have, however, we do not pronounce the last letter because in French they do not find it beautiful to pronounce, maybe. So instead, they omit, instead of going J, they just say it J, J with the A sound. The second letter, the second word we had is to a, to a, which means you have. To a. The third word is il, el, a. So basically, this is also pronounced as a, and this is also pronounced as a, which means he slash she has. We do not say have. This is the basic English grammar rule. It is he, she has. The fourth one is. Nu Evo Nu Avo, which means Nu Zabo. I uh, mentioned to you in the previous lecture in French, you tend to join the words when you have an S in the end, so it, it is pronounced as Nu Zabo, which means we have Nu Zabo. The fifth one is. Wu Ave, which is Wu Zave. Wu Zave. Now, I mentioned in the previous lecture that the word Wu is used when you show respect to someone, or maybe you're meeting someone in a professional environment, or you're meeting a person for the first time. So, this also basically means you have, but if you meet a person who is belonging to a professional background, you do not say to a. Uh, Instead, you'll be using Buzabe, which is uh, to show respect to the other person. The sixth word is Il, El, So, which means they have. As I mentioned in the previous lecture that L is used when you have more number of females as opposed to males. And uh, in the previous lecture when we, pro when we pro were pronouncing the verb etre, which was il, el, so. So basically it was pronounced the same way. I will write it down in the bracket to make you understand what it was. It was il, el, so. So basically, it just had an S in the end, and it also me it meant they are. It meant they are. So this is this part is a bit tricky. So you have to remember that when you uh, have the verb have or the word avua, you will not use the S in the end. So we revise for today. The first one is J. Which means I have, then it is to a, which means you have, then you have il, il a, el a, which means he has, she has, then it is nu zabo, which means we have, then you have buzabe, which means you have again, then you have il so, el so, which means they have. This is all for today. This is all for the verb avua. Uh, in the next lecture, I will be teaching you another verb. Now, if you like this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe.
and uh, for any doubts and queries please mention it in the comments below thank you